This test will be the test for jugular venous distension. For this, you'll need two tools, uh, which will be two different ruling devices. Um, I have a mannequin here, and what I would do is I'd ask the patient to turn their head to the right. Also, um, I'd also have the patient in a 45 degree angle, and again, since this bed does not recline or uh, move out, um, I'm just going to pretend that this is a 45 degree angle. So once we're set in a 45 degree angle with the patient looking off to their right, um, I'm going to be noting for the internal jugular vein distension. What I'm going to be looking for is a pulsation uh, within the neck. And once a pulsation is noted, um, I'm going to measure it in relationship to the sternal angle. The sternal angle will be found by palpating the second rib. The second rib on each side will come together to form an angle or an elevation on the chest. Um, the jugular notch is going to be approximately right here. And then I'm going to go down slightly and I feel the elevation. That's going to be my sternal angle, also known as the angle of Louis. Uh, from there, that's going to be my reference point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my measuring device. Uh, a ruler works best. I just have this. Um, I'm going to measure it in centimeters and I'm going to place it on that sternal angle. Next, I'm going to find the pulsation that I found earlier. I'm just going to arbitrarily call uh, this point right here my pulsation. So with the patient in a 45 degree angle, I'm going to measure over from where the point of that pulsation was. Um, since I'm on a mannequin, I mean I'm barely more than a centimeter, or barely less than a centimeter, uh, where that imaginary pulsation would be. But when the patient's at exactly a 45 degree angle, um, this is going to rise. The higher up that the pulsations are, the higher up my scale will be. So if I'm more than four centimeters above the sternal, uh, sternal angle, then I know that I have something going on. Well, what can, what can cause an increased uh, jugular venous pressure? Um, well, the jugular vein can be distended by a right atrium buildup. So if the right atrium, the right ventricle cannot pump, then the right atrium will have an excess backup, and that will be reflected in the internal jugular because that's going to be coming off, um, off of that SVC. So that's why we test the internal jugular. It's because of its proximity and its relationship to the right atria. So this approximately gives us a picture to the right atria. Um, again, a normal jugular venous distension.